good morning children let us move on to the new topic uh, rulers and buildings children uh, have you ever uh, visited uh, delhi children delhi kabhi tour pe gaye delhi ko nahi gaye then if you have visited any of the old uh, 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 ancient temples or ancient uh, monuments then you will understand those all were built uh, with rocks am i right there were no burnt bricks uh, knowledge uh, to them uh, and uh, most of the buildings were uh, sculptured okay stone carved they were built and one such a monument which has been built uh, during 1199 ad was qutub minar so this monument in delhi was built around 1199 ad children and the first balcony of qutub minar uh, has been built by qutbuddin aibak and uh, notice the pattern if you look at this uh, this uh, first balcony has been given in the textbook picture children you observe that picture okay oh balcony dikhai deti kaisi carving hai uske upar bhi you can find out and uh, you can notice the pattern created under the uh, balcony by the small arches as well as the geometrical designs uh, can we find two bands of inscriptions under the uh, balcony these are words written in arabic language so these all thing these are the words written in arabic notice that the surface of the minar is carved as well as uh, angular placing an inscription on such a uh, surface requires great precision and it is not such easy job to put the panels on it where it is angular uh, one hai and uh, you require lot of uh, uh, precise knowledge to put uh, such a panels on it and only the most skilled craftsman uh, could perform this task and uh, remember that uh, very few buildings were made of stone and brick some 800 years ago and uh, what would have been the impact of building uh, uh, like qutub minar uh, an observers in the 13th uh, century between 8th and 18th centuries kings and their officers their uh, forts uh, were built uh, two kinds of structures the first uh, were the palaces forts and tombs which are safe and protected and uh, grandiose uh, places of rest that mean grandeur very luxurious uh, places of uh, rest and the second were the structures meant for the uh, public activities like including temples mas and uh, tanks wells and uh, carwan uh, series or bazaars okay so these were the uh, things which are meant for the public activity which have been built by the kings kings were expected to look after uh, their subjects that mean their people and uh, by making uh, uh, structures for their use and for their comfort rulers hoped to win their praise oh kya banaya raja when you praise him in order to achieve that one the kings used to con- uh, construct them with a uh, uh, large uh, donations so construction activity was carried out uh, uh, by other including merchants also they built temples mas and even wells even some reservoirs and dams were also constructed by the rulers however domestic architecture that is large mansions havelis of merchants has survived only from the 18th century before that whatever havelis were there they all got collapsed and they were not of uh, present survival but whereas some of the forts and kings palaces are surviving even today also even after 18th century and we can study much of their architecture and their uh, uh, building style even in the present days so we shall learn about uh, those rulers and buildings uh, art and their sculpture uh, of many constructions under this lesson called as rulers and buildings and their engineering skills and construction from next class children thank you children till then